morning, resellers. It is Saturday morning. It's about 8 30. I've already been out and about, but I just stopped at the um, storage unit to pick up a couple of items that I sold last night and this morning. And I'm going to go home and get those shipped up, get them ready to go. I'm going to show you those. And then um, I am going to try to list about 15 things today, maybe a little more. Um, I'm going out of town tomorrow morning and I'll be back Monday night. So I'm trying to kind of front load a little work. Um, but you know, I've got all of that stuff to do, like pack a bag and make sure there's groceries in the house for the husband and all those little things. So I'm going to try and get all of that done today. And then, um, we'll see what else we can do today. Okay. Let's talk about what sold, um, last night and yesterday after I had shipped off everything and I still need these. Um, okay. So this came out of a pallet, so I really don't have a, a cost price, but it was probably in the couple of dollar range. Um, we have sold crazy out of that pallet for the last couple of days because at the flea market booth, um, we have a lot of the large items that I really don't want to ship and we can get pre really good money for them there. And we sold about $150 worth of items yesterday and $177 the day before because people are now getting their tax money back. So, um, you know, the cost for this was probably maybe a dollar out of that unit. And I sold this for $19.99 plus shipping for a total of $23.38. That'll go first class. Um, this is another lot of those fly fishing lures that my brother got for free. It was a, like a clean out. He had to clean out in somebody's basement or something. Um, but there's lots of them in here. Ton, tons of lures in here. Um, I didn't really know what these were worth because I'm not a fly fishing kind of girl. Um, and because there were so many random ones in there, it was really inefficient to do, um, to do research on every single one of them. So, because I, that's not the way I generally operate. I would typically rather sell lots of stuff than individual tiny little lures. But um, I listed these for $49.99 and um, they were up probably about a week, maybe, maybe a week. And uh, I took a best offer of $30 plus shipping. So I got $30 for these plus $7.20 shipping for a total of $37.20. Um, one thing I forgot to grab because I didn't check my phone while I was at the storage unit, which is not that big a deal. It's only eight minutes away. It's just inconvenient. Um, was a paraffin bath. Um, Revlon and Dr. Scholl's are two of the big ones that make these. But they're made by other people as well. Um, if you don't know what that is, it is an oval plastic electronic kind of like bowl that you plug in and it melts paraffin inside. And um, usually they'll have a pink or a purple lid. But um, you can place your hands in the para paraffin or your feet in the paraffin and it's a heat therapy kind of thing. And it's very good for your skin. So um, they're used a lot in, to get manicures and pedicures and all of that. But this is so you can do it at home. Um, I think I've got $7 in it. I sold it for $25 with shipping for a, a total of $41.20. And then the last thing that I sold, and this is kind of my tip for the day, is this Pier 1 lamp. This is so cool, I almost kept it myself, but I'm like, I, I can't keep everything. Um, made by Pier 1. Just a cool lamp. I purchased this for $6.99 and there were no comps. And I honestly did research um, looking through Google, um, searching Pier 1 copper lamps, couldn't find anything, and um, never really established a, a good price. Like, what's a good price for this? I don't know. But I determined that um, I would be happy if I got $50 for it. And it took a few months. Um, I probably had it for three months, I would guess, three, four, and um, it sold for $50 and with uh, plus shipping for a total of $61.84. And this is going to ship FedEx um, Smart Post. One of the things that um, uh, you need to consider when you're shipping something that's large like this and kind of heavy, you need to get different shipping options because sometimes... Um, 
USPS is cost prohibitive for people to buy. So um, I offered a few different um, options and um, the buyer was satisfied with that because she had met or he had messaged me a couple of times, but they were satisfied with that price and um, I will get this wrapped up. This will be bubble wrapped and then put in a box and then that box will be put in another box surrounded by, I probably have um, shredded paper to kind of pad it um, because I don't want this to get broken. So that's the plan there. And this is going to be a short video today, but um, I wanted to, I wanted to um, let you know that I need to step up my game because I am not listing consistently um, and I really need to pinpoint my goals. So I'm challenging myself until the end of March to list 15 items a day, at least five days a week. So that is 75 items a week. And those need to have an average value of $25. And um, I really want to get up to that next level with my selling. So I, I invite you to join this challenge with me and um, you know, we'll update how we're doing. You can um, let me know if you're interested in joining this challenge down in the comments below. It doesn't have to be 15 items a day for you because you may be new and don't have the ability to, to list, you know, you may have selling limits that don't allow you to list that many. Um, so you may not want to list 15 a day. You may have a full-time job or three kids or whatever it is, and it's just a real struggle for you to list 15 a day. But what I challenge you to do is to set a goal for yourself, whether that's one every day or five every day or whatever it is, and see if you can commit to that and watch your, your business grow. Because I promise you, if you make that kind of commitment and if you make that, that kind of goal and you, you understand what, where you're going, um, you will get there. You will get there. You got to do the HW, as my friend Mark Gregg always used to say, um, I'm doing the HW. That's all I know. The HW being the hard work. And eBay, it is hard work. But it's also a lot of freedom. It's a, it's a lot of fun. It is not work that I dread. And, um, you know, I look forward to getting up every day and getting started with this business. So let me know if you're interested in, um, in you know, being a part of this challenge in the comments below. Um, let me know what your commitment is and hopefully we can hold each other accountable um, to maintaining that uh, until March 31st. And I want you to look at what your sales were maybe last month um, and this month and let's see what they are at the end of March and see if you can see a marked improvement. That's what I'm anticipating. My average sales are about... $2,800 a month, I'm guessing, gross sales. Um, and so, honestly, I'm pretty small potatoes. However, I know I have the ability to do so much more and to bring so much more to the table. It's just a matter of setting those very small, not a small goal, a very specific goal, a very, very specific goal and, and working towards that. So I do have my Q4 um, our Q1 goals up there on the on the board and I am working towards those and I update the board as I um, you know as those change as the you know my goal for this year is uh, my goal for Q1 is a th having a thousand listings and um, you know here I am at 577 and am I gonna get there well I might be able to get there if I can list that 15 a day so, um, and I think I will get there if I can list that 15 a day. So, um, you know, set yourself a goal, understand what you can commit to, and let's do this together. So that's going to be it for right now. I may come back and, um, sh you know, let you know if I've got my 15 listed, but um, think about that and then comment below. <clears throat> End of the day here before I have to start the wife duties and the laundry and the food and all that. Um but I was able to get 32 drafts um, completed 
And I actually only have like one or two-ish, maybe three items left that I can even list. And I'm going to have to source. But I plan on going to an auction tomorrow. I'll hope to take you along and show you a little footage of that. Um, but um, I've got the drafts completed. I'm going to take a few minutes and take the photos. My plan is to list 15 of those today, remainder of those tomorrow. So I'll have 15 today, 15 tomorrow. Um, I'm driving back on Monday and I'll have my mom with me. So I don't know if I'll get my 15 on Monday. I'm going to do my best to do that. But, um, you know, the, the long drive and, and making dinner and all that stuff when I get back, I, I don't know if it'll be possible, but I'll do my best to work on that. I'm not sure if I'll upload a video this weekend just because um, I'm going to be away from home base, but I might try. If not, should be on, um, a video available for you Monday night or Tuesday. Um, have a great weekend. Remember, your dreams work when you do, so keep dreaming and keep working. Oh.